Um, you can do yeah, the, 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 the calls on that. Uh, I didn't have the time to do it. No, just kind of skips me as I am. So not like, yeah, 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 the next one is the road my church to my brother. They told him he couldn't take them out, but he could eat one out of each batch and then take the rest home. Yeah, we had a couple of guys who showed up. It would be a perfect birthday. So it's like, you just want it. You just want it. It's like, okay, I ate a whole lot. It's the same in my hand. You still want it. But yeah, no, I think that's good. Let me look. I'm going to look and see what I have. Yeah. No, I totally. Yeah. You never know. You have to. Yeah. You know? That's right. And train. I mean, not that they couldn't have done it otherwise. Yeah. Yeah. But you need to well, without a doubt. Oh. Start the line. Yeah. Dave, it might have popped up on your other computer. That's all. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 You are. <laughs> So this is a this is a negative. I mean that that we were charged for. Right? Yeah. 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 yeah, that's um, yeah, that's um, hey, man. Hey, you know, that's one hundred dollars that they charge on me up there. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'll yeah. just yeah. pay up and pay somebody else. Yeah. I know that that was told to me before. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm not very good. Hi, man. How are you? Good. Yeah. You from your office today? They're great. Yeah. I got here when I was going to be on the Reliance Science. Uh, yeah. Where did you get uh, your book? Okay. We said that we state that it was in Reliance. And the our treasurer assigned it. It's not going to be If that's okay with you. That's fine with me. And that also would be good so that we can talk to the Lions that we get the $500. Okay. And Fred was head of the security for some of the restaurants. Yeah. He knows people. I didn't want to I want to Yeah, that's. That's what he said. Yeah, he said no, that no, nobody no, would have no, to no, or make decisions no, on our behalf no, that we're five no, And we've done all the formalization. Okay. So if you're okay with that, I, I'm fine with that. Okay, I haven't talked to the mayor about it, <laughs> but I will. On the MOU day, mm -hmm. I couldn't get a hold of Matt today, so I contacted Rich DeVault's office, or I talked to Rich, Rich actually, and he said that. Um, Having it, the custodian, Fred would be the custodian of, of the bank, but um, Reliant would be the bank of record. And if we go, that would also give us the opportunity to come back to you and say we want to split that money between there and Lions. Right. And you can have copies of the bank papers if you want, I don't care. So. Can you stand for the please? Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
All right, welcome everybody, especially on this cold day. Our first order of business is to approve the minutes from our February 15th meeting. So moved. I'll second. I'll go ahead. All in favor? Uh, Aye. 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 In terms of my report, um, the water level's up a little bit since our last um, board meeting. We are a little bit above long-term average, but we're significantly below what we were last year at this time. And tomorrow is the day that shipping opens, which means if we get a heavy rainstorm, that's when the river board starts playing games with the outflow. Um, in terms of our water system study, our little group interviewed C2AE and Bart Rula Judas using the same set of questions. Later on in the meeting, um, we'll review our score sheet, which recommends Bart Rula Judas. We did gear projects. Um, the group had met, reviewed some uh, conceptual drawings and some information that the consultant brought forward, narrowed it down to couple sites, um, one of which the consultant was not very familiar with. So last week he walked the site with the owner um, and then sent out a poll to see when we can all get back together again. So sometime early in April, we'll need to review the latest conceptual drawings and then we we'll start talking about what the relationship might be with the owner, potential owners and uh, of the property and, and the village. So we'll see where that goes. Uh, Mary Osterman, Sharon Little, and I participated in a follow-up meeting um, with the Great Lakes St. Lawrence Cities Initiative consultant on a resilience project somewhere here in Wayne County. To date, all these projects have been in uh, Michigan or along Lake Michigan. They're funded by the National Fish and Wildlife Federation. So we talked about various sites that were possible. We sent them a plethora of information that the engineers will now review, and they'll come back to us in a month or so with a recommendation on where they think they should define a project on our behalf. This is just a planning thing. It gets us a planning document. It gives us a document to go seek funding. It won't necessarily be in the village. It might, or it might be in uh, somewhere else in the county. The updating of the parking chapter, um, Gary and I have been through it a couple times since the last meeting. I was gonna put it on tonight's agenda, but it's Pat, you know, we can wait, it's not a priority. Um, but I will email everybody copy tomorrow of where we sit at the moment. Yesterday, I participated in an RG&E meeting um, for the SOTUS division, where they talked about 90% of the electric smart meters are installed in the SOTUS division, and only 65% of the gas meters. So they have some work to do there. They talked about how they trim trees. They talked about some devices they're installing to try to prevent squirrels from causing power outages. And uh, some circuit breakers that automatically uh, try to reduce the length of outages. Interestingly enough, there was a big outage in Wayne County yesterday um, that our genie was on site for and got video of three giant transformers basically exploding. Um, and everybody was standing back, nobody got hurt, so they have to dig into that to try to figure out why. Um, the eclipse on April 8th, we will be inundated with police of varying types, mostly the sheriff, beginning Sunday. Bill learned last night they're going to actually spend the night in the Coast Guard station, so they'll be here. The biggest concern in the county is traffic. And we are a 90,000 90, resident county, and they're expecting 50,000 additional visitors Sunday and Monday. 
So that's really where the concern is coming from. Our bathrooms will be open. We will have um, some porta potties around <laughs> as well. The county is not opening their bathrooms, but they will have porta potties over there. And then I guess the last bit of news is the right of way, both the eminent domain portion and the uh, lawsuit portion, from what I understand, will be heard by the judge on April 9th. So hopefully we can bring that to an end for all of us. Um, wastewater has submitted their annual biosolids report. Lake Road 2 lift station is where um, White Birch all empties into, and they've got some problems in their system because we had to take a lot of rocks out of that lift station. So we have some work to do over there with them to try to get them to find those problems in their system. Um, the blower for the unit that we're not using right now was inspected to make sure when we started the bearings and everything are all right, and that all turned out well. Lake Road 1 lift station wasn't working right. Palacino came out, that ended up being a blown fuse on an rg &E side of things. So that's all working now. Josh used this, both the sewer cleaner and the camera on Fifth Street last week when one of the residents of one of the new homes had a pretty significant block. It ended up being on their side. And uh, when the contractor dug it up, there was a bunch of drywall compound and things like th construction material in the lateral. Well, but they got it all cleaned out. The residents now happy. And Jeff reminds everybody to think before you flush. <laughs> Bill? Um, the fire department, uh, since the last board meeting, had nine responses. Uh, four were EMS help uh, with lifting. Uh, the rest were wires down because of the wind, odor of gas. Uh, they'll have an engine crew and a boat crew on for the eclipse. Uh, we're also using the side-by-side -side with a medic uh, and that on it so we can get down to the beach along the short, any of the short streets, that kind of thing. Uh, pot of gold tickets are available. That's the state dinner over there. That's their fundraiser. Uh, the new WR force will be ready uh, for use on the 8th or a little before the 8th so that they can get that in the water and utilize it. Um, their upcoming events, obviously, is the blackout, excuse me, the, the eclipse. Yeah. Um, June 1st is Pot of Gold Dinner. Um, if you want tickets, probably the best person to see is Timmy Jones and do it soon because they're a, a, a get them as you can get them type deal. You know, How do you saying. get old with Tim? What's that? How do you get old with Tim? Email. Yeah. Email? Probably would be the best way if you've got it. Yeah. If not, I can give you a phone number. I'll let you harass him for that. Um, and then June 15th, it's going to be the old-time baseball game down in the park. Uh, other than that, that's it for right now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, reporting for the Silver Water Ambulance, um, it was a, a quiet month. They had eight responses in February, three of them um, we could bill. Um, one required an ALS assist. Um, uh, Silver Waters is ready for the eclipse on the 8th. There are going to be three crews, um, one on the new boat, one on the ambulance, and then one um, with the fire department side by side. So three sets of crews for first aid. And that's it. Uh, highway, uh, basically they're just uh, with the weather pattern. <laughs> they can't figure it out either. Um, but they say they're just cleaning up all the plow stuff, the salters, making repairs and whatnot, and the plows getting them put away. Uh, they do some patching of potholes with some cold patch, cleaning up some debris from the windstorms, and prepping the sweepers and whatnot for summer, basically just doing all the, the maintenance work to get ready to go ahead for this season. And that is all. Thank you, Lori. Uh, the LWRP was active this month, uh, and it's my understanding, Jane, that they got to a... Um, uh, perhaps so that we may have something to look at here soon. Um, I was unable to attend due to an outside commitment. Thought I'd be able to get to read it or to watch it before this meeting, but that hasn't happened because of lots of other things. But on the parks, I'd like to thank Brad. Uh, he's been very helpful in ordering equipment. 
<clears throat> on um, making sure that it's going to the right address, that sort of thing. And also he changed the highway or the highway department changed where the speed sign was since the new pole, put the new light up and everything. And so anyways, but um, uh, game time will have their swings and everything by the end of April. Samantha is arranging an installer and believes it will take about four hours plus travel to put the, the equipment in. Um, the MOU we're going to take care of tonight, I hope. And um, once that's done, we'll plan to start fundraising for the new playground. And Brad has budgeted for wood chips for this year, which is an important part of the playground because the liability continues to grow if those get down too low. So uh, I've learned a lot about wood chips. Planning board, I attended two partial meetings and we'll view the others later in the month. Kathy Beretta has resigned from the committee. Mark Kostich will step into her sho shoes. There are openings on both zoning and planning boards. Should we be advertising for that? I really talked to the chair people about that. Zoning is not interested in advertising. I suspect most will be okay. interested in advertising. All right. And actually, hit the advertisement from the last one is still on the board. So. Okay. <laughs> Climate Smart Communities. Uh, I attended the SOTUS Village meeting. Uh, they needed clarification. I saw that the clarification came in just before I came here, so I don't know what the clarification is on those zero grants. May, did you read it today? Or? It claims it's not going to cost us any money, but we don't have the DEC paperwork. Right. And um, I have a number I'm going to contact because um, they said no to the um, EV stations being at the museum, which seems like a likely place that you should put them because we get our most traffic there. So I'm going to check to see whether or not what the re rationale was for making that decision. So that's pretty much it. Oh, and I worked on uh, all of these things we're going to vote on tonight. Uh, I served on a committee. I forgot about this. <laughs> served on the committee for the uh, water lines, and uh, that kept me pretty busy. So. All right, thank you. In terms of Kevin's report, he has three permits, so I think thirty-four hundred dollars in back fees. Total fees generated was four thousand forty-eight dollars and fifty cents. Public comments in the room first. Good evening, Bruce Eatner, 8405 Bay Street, Tony Point, Chairman of the Planning Board, Small Correction Board. Uh, Kathy's resignation does not go into effect until May 1st. Oh, thank you. Okay. okay. Three years ago, when we began work on Chapter 141 maintenance, we solicited input from the community. Over the last three years, we have listened to the community, including the village board. Last year, after 141 was sent back to us for revision, Lori and Jennifer sent us a list of suggestions to work most of those into this current version. We have submitted this to the uh, village attorney, uh, Matthew St. Martin, and he reviewed it, suggested a few changes. We accept those changes and included them in. Uh, those changes were wording. Will everybody be happy with 141? No. That's never going to happen. <laughs> this board should know that quite well. Uh, does it drip address issues that the community has brought to our attention? Yes. 141 addresses garbage and trash, rundown slash zombie houses, overgrown vegetation, storage of watercraft, craft, storage of inoperable watercraft and unlicensed vehicles. It also addresses dumpsters, roll off trash, containers and uh, off trash containers and storage containers. There's been a lot of talk about making sort of splendid destination uh, location. If you want people to come to our village, it has to be attractive 
and invade it. We can't have it trashed. If 141 is opened up for public comment, the planning board would be amenable to holding a uh, question and answer session for the public. Uh, we hope to get 141 passed and we can address other problems and concerns such as short-term rental and building the dates that people have asked about. Um, and if during your discussion of it this evening, if you have any questions, we'd be more than willing to try and ask for them. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Bruce. Sean Gannon, 8535 Griggs Street. Um, I got a question before I start. Am I allowed three minutes? Am I allowed to ask questions or is it just three minutes of statement? You can make statements. You can ask a couple questions, but okay. you're not interrogating the board. Okay. Um, I just have a couple questions on like time management with like the highway stuff. Um, these, a couple of take probably Gory Tuesday. Is there a policy for the village? Uh, for taking personal vehicles home? No, there isn't. So if you do take one, is there is it part of a, a structured package or? An employee took a village vehicle home for about a month as his was being repaired. It's not a routine thing. It's not a benefit. Okay. Um, and does the village have a like dedicated log for like the services provided, like all the departments? Like, do they? Is there like a, other than just like a general reporting? Is there an actual written log to see anywhere of like what is done and when it's done? Each department maintains a log. Yes. Um, the village trucks, when it's non-seasonal or like you know it's season right now, but like our plow trucks and stuff like that. Loaded with salt with plows on on 50 degree days, should we be driving in X amount of miles, or is it just because they don't have enough vehicles outside of that? I guess I don't understand the question. So when last time when I, I talked to Bud, probably like after the last village meeting, when it was reported that there was 62 salt trips or 62 plow runs, there wasn't really a specific. We didn't know. It was just like, how could we be in the mid 60s when? You know, like as a living, what we do at a higher rate than what's done here, it, trying to figure out how the numbers were so far off. So one went and looked at it and came back and it was maybe it was per unit or something like that. We just didn't know what they're how they're reporting it. So that's why I was asking, like, if if everything's being reported, is that something that's seen or not seen? Just so there's, you know, like for the village, if you work here. On the, on the highway crew for 20 years, you learn the process of what you guys did every day, right? But if that person moves on, you just follow suit of what, what you were taught. Is there like an actual Bible to this is what we do or no? Are services needed like for the community? There's a list of standard tasks that are done. Decisions on salting and plowing are made by the highway leader. Um, usually he's in at two or three in the morning on days when there might be a reason. And then if he's calling people in, he, let, he tells them whether to salt, plow, or whatever. Right. But that's they, all recorded. That's all comes. That's all recorded back to like you guys for like what what's done during the week. It's kept in his office. So, yes. So after looking at the um, looking at the sixty two trips and just trying to figure out like how could that even be possible? Like what am I missing on this? Right. I went back to my cameras, which hold until. I have full AI, I have license plates, I have everything. It holds for almost a calendar year, not the video, but it's still footage. So I went back to count the salt runs and we ended up, I think, at 23 or 24. Mm -hmm. And that was why, you know, just asking a general question, not trying to say no one's doing their job. It was just like, where's the difference? So when you look at the cameras and you watch, you see a lot. On average, three to four builds trucks pass by once a day, um, each unit. And on most days, they go down the loop and back about three to four times a day per unit. And that's why I was asking about like salters. Like, you know, I personally wouldn't drive my fleet at 50, but like if you have to, you need a vehicle, you take it. So they go down the loop and they come back, which takes an average of seven minutes. In private business, 12 minutes abuse of lunch. That's this is not abuse, I'm saying I'm mine. 
12 minutes a day, because it takes 42 minutes for me to go to McDonald's, eat a cheeseburger, and be back at a job. That 12 minutes a day in a year's time is 52 hours. So like on private side, that's a week, over a week's paid vacation just to just to have a good lunch, right? So if you drive down the loop and back in a seven minute time frame, by the time you're done, you're talking three and a half weeks paid vacation just to drive down the loop, right? So that's that's why me only deciding the business that I know, it just made me think to myself, like, what are we looking out for or reporting? Or like I asked Kevin, like, is it building? Are we looking for, you know, use that as like, is there a permit or you know, dead cat or whatever the case may be? And he didn't know. So I was just asking for, you know. They each look for their own. Each department is looking for things that interest their department. Okay. Other than like emergency things or whatever. Right. And there is a lot of construction that's been going on down there. So that's particularly the wastewater department has been gone, going down there a lot. Um, highway department is checking lights and checking for trash. Are we sometimes out joyriding? Maybe. Sure. Um, they don't plow. They don't salt every road every time depending on what's transpired. It doesn't mean a complete run, but they went out 62 times. It did at least saw. A lot of the time this year, they haven't plowed. Between each unit, you're saying, not 62 like as a whole for the department. Like, so if the what two trucks is a unit. So if two, if two trucks go out at once, is that two trips or one? Yeah, it's two. Two, okay. Because that's what we didn't know what that was and what considered. And, and we have a pickup truck that also has salt in it. That's another year. Yeah, it's, it's, we saw it. We saw that. Uh, we, have, we recorded all of them for every day in all the streets we could see up to the top of them. Um, and like yesterday, we're sweeping roads in the, in the snow. We're salting or sweeping roads at the same time in the rain and snow. So it's like seeing all that equipment driving down the road every day, not on a trail. I mean, it's it's a lot of wear and tear. You know what I mean? It's a lot of wear and tear to drive skids here from there to there every single day. Like it'd be brooming in the middle of the day in the rain. You know what I mean? Um, we, we broom and on purpose when it's raining. For dust, I get that. But not when you're salting. No. That's the fact, you know, it's just breaking the principle of what we're doing, really. Um, did you happen to find if there was a salt log? No, I haven't. he's got a log of their salt runs, but I haven't got a log of how much is, he keeps track of the tonnage, if you will. Okay. So that, that'd be, they could backtrack it. And is there a log for miles and hours for equipment for, for all the entities, just as far as, you know, like keeping an eye on things, right? Yeah. They're supposed to write their mileage down when they come back in. Yeah. At least on the trucks. I don't know about the, the hours on the, uh, the skids here and whatnot, I would assume as much. All right. I gave Kevin the information for the compactor. Um, they were we put him in a group yesterday, and I get he's gonna schedule something to come out with them at the beginning of the week now. So good. Um the no, I'm good for now. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else in the room? I just want to make sure there's anybody else. I just want to piggyback on what Bruce said about if you want a community where people really enjoy it, it needs to be clean. And um, I don't know how procedurally this works. Um, Willow Park, you're the, Lori, you're the person that's in charge of the, the parks in general. Yeah, I mean, well, parks. it's Parks Commissioner. Your Parks Commissioner. Okay, so who do I go to when I see a bunch of garbage and dead trees and just everything? And if, if you call me, I'll take care of it. So and I don't want to put on that. Oh, you maybe it's just the the Well, yes. we've talked to the office about it before. Yeah, many times, right? It doesn't get done. In fact, Oh, that was a lot of angst in my mind. <laughs> in fact, when Rotary, when we do our Rotary cleanup, we pull a half a dump, a half a pickup trucks of just garbage out of the little park. There's a you want to put like a trail in the back mm -hmm. there. That that should be all clean. All that dead oh, brush and will invasive be. species. <laughs> well, no, it should be done on a regular basis. Well, and I talked to Hoppy. And he said it's just not on their list as a priority to do. 
and they've never done it. And then all those bushes along there, there's wine bottles, there's liquor bottles, you know, there's tons of stuff, and that should all be raked on a regular basis. So I'm just asking you for the same reason that Bruce pointed out, is that we really want our community looking good, and that looks helpful. So then I just I just have um I want to just clarify that on the LWRP because I'm on the committee. Thank you. We don't have a completed document. No, no. We're we might have something to look at, is what I said. We've always had something. <laughs> <laughs> so but as a board. Yeah. Okay. Um I guess that was it. I one more thing, but I can't remember what it was. So that's okay. Yeah. That's the most important thing that I have. So I hope that I can count on you and see some action there. Yeah. Oh, I do have one more thing. The kids that we hired last year with the you know, gaming baskets, he didn't do a good job and he didn't want to listen to anybody. I talked to him, Penny talked to him, everybody talked to him about the fact that you have to put your hose up, let it, and then take it down, put it up again. And because when they're driving, it just, so if somebody, it was kind of embarrassing last year with all those dead baskets. So, if they need training, Penny is a really good resource for Darby. I, I used to be a good resource, but, you know, and then you also have a, a guy that owns a landscaping company here, so he's a good resource, too. But, again, beautification of the village, we really want that. Yeah, you know, I haven't, I'll be honest with you, I've never really walked out to the woods and looked that way. I check the restrooms and do stuff when they're open. I haven't been it's down okay. there, it's just but I drive small. by and if yeah. I see something. Or I've had the kids pick it up, but I haven't. It's gone just back. a small yeah. detail that I. It's nice to have more eyes. I also hope we can clean the kayak launch this year. It hasn't been cleaned since it was purchased. I've asked for it to be power washed every season. It's never been power washed. So, Dave, can you make sure that it's. We had no ability to power wash it until we got sewer cleaner that we have now. Oh, good. So, we can We've power wash it this year? Yes, and it'll also be repaired because there's holes in two of the floats. Oh, bummer. So, okay, well, good. Thank you. And we have a contract for it to be put in and taken out. Awesome. Every year. So. Thank you. <coughs> Any public comment on Zoom? All right, we got one more in the room. <coughs> Uh, good evening. I don't have much voice tonight. Uh, James Taylor, Second Street. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to catch up on uh, the ROW. The last I heard, there was an uh, I don't know better word. I'll call it an attack made on the decision made by the planning board that uh, had to do with a fence that was built not to the specification of the improvements. And I never heard how that it is, case it came is, out. It is in litigation. Um, it goes before a judge on April 9th. And then what next? Depends on what the judge says. Okay. Thank you. Yep. <clears throat> Any other public comment? All right, we will close public comment. Thank you very much. Moving on to new business. First order is the Franklin House asking to impede the village street right away to put in a handicap ramp heading toward the back of the building from his side entrance um, by putting in a right size handicap ramp, he will impede our right away by about three feet. I believe the front corner of his building also impedes the right away. Would this go before the planning board? From what I understand, the planning board doesn't have jurisdiction. We do. Okay. Because and, it's impeding on the right. And how do we how do we do this without even a schematic or a, a picture of what it is or a drawing or of what he's going to do? 
we can certainly ask for that. Yeah. I mean, I, I see he's got a date. And that he wanted to get it done by. And I, I, I think we could probably get it done by then, but I, I think we should see something that's the drawings of what he's going to do. And why, what's the reason that he's not taking out of, taking it out of his porch area? Because he doesn't own a lot of that either. Oh, he doesn't. That, if you look on the I tax know. map, yeah. that's well, a big that's building I, and a tiny lot. Yeah. And and I love the Franklin House, but uh, I just want to make sure everybody's mm -hmm. treated. I think the drawing is only appropriate because everybody else has to have something like that. Yeah. Even if it's temporary, permanent, or whatever, yeah. it becomes permanent, then it ends up going to the yeah. upper echelon. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. And then the uh, the other question I had is, um, we have insurance concerns on one row. This would be the same thing, wouldn't it? Can I ask? I would imagine the same requirements would exist. And do we have any kind of policy on that and and that sort of thing? Because if we don't, we probably should have some kind of policy. Follow the direction of the insurance company. Okay. The ramp is supposed to go, the two steps that come out towards the road, those are supposed to come away. The ramp is supposed to go next to the building <clears throat> going west. Okay, that's good. Along the building. Um, and then there'll be two new steps. Um, if you're looking at the door and the road is behind you, the two steps will come up here to go in there and the ramp will come up from the west. Oh, side. And then yeah. is there a ramp because there's there's a step into the restaurant too. Yeah. They're thinking so, they're going to take care of all of that. That's what they're, that's what they're thinking. Definitely need drawing. All right, we'll get and measurements. Yeah. And so if, if he needs us to do something <laughs> ahead of time, we can I, maybe do it via email. Yeah. And doesn't he got to go in front of, uh, does he got to pull a permit and all that for that as well? He's got to pull a permit. But yeah, he doesn't say, need to go to planning or zoning, from what Kevin said earlier. Well, then can Kevin approve a drawing? Sure. I mean, I hate to hold the business up. I would say that pending insurance and if, I mean. Would it be something that could be scanned in and sent to us just to take a look yeah, at it? Absolutely. LD, I'm sorry, Tracy, I don't want to throw more in your lap, but um, so, so at least we get a, a look so at we're it. We're going to approve it tonight, though, pending. Whoa, I, I got a time out on this. Yeah. Okay. I, I have to time out of this. I went to build a pole barn. I had to go back in front of planning and zoning twice. I had the neighbor's approval to impede on his property four feet on one end, nothing on the other. And I got sent back four times and had was going to be told I had to get a survey and everything, all this other stuff. Now we're just going to willy-nilly just bypass all the process and just say, yeah, we're going to do this. It's okay. And I love I the Frank right. Rose, but this is, this is not okay. <laughs> I know it may take some time. I understand that, but it's not okay. More information. Yes. And why is it all of a sudden not the planning board? Well, it's, I got, I'd have to look at the village code. It sounds like Kevin already looked at it. If if your only request is to impede upon the village's right of way, then that would be, it sounds like that's in your purview exactly. as opposed to the planning oh, board. Okay. The things Bud's right. talking about were, are specifically in the code things that planning or zoning well, have to Like going right. into, it doesn't go into the actual road, does it? Is it going to affect the no. plows or anything no. like that? You can still park the that. vehicle in front of it. Well, you can. Between the building and the road. But see, those are things, and, and I, I, but, but I do agree that you should see a picture of what they're looking to do and so forth. Okay. Yeah, this came on the 11th hour, and it was my comment, too. It's in the draw. Okay. So then once the board says, okay, does it still have to go to the planning board then? No. This is not, a, it's less than $10,000. Okay, so ADA doesn't require anything special. It needs to meet the ADA guidelines, which okay. Kevin is aware of. The variety okay, of that would make sense. That kind of stuff. Yeah. Right, but isn't there? So, yeah, so we'll that per, and insurance. Right. And right. Inches per feet, and right. it goes past this distance, it has to have a plateau, yada, yada. Okay, we will table that and um, get more information and disseminate it and go from there. 
The next one is the right away weather structure and benches of Captain Jacks. We, we are requesting the grandfathering of the temporary structure vestibule for weather purposes and benches out front. The benches were, both were verbally authorized many years ago by previous administrations. Temporary structures we've set up in Dixon now for more than 16 years without any complaints. Benches were in place when Tom acquired the business. He was authorized by Mike Sullivan to improve their condition and its and aesthetics over 15 years ago. My thought on this is when you have a business that's purchased, whatever they purchase should still be applicable, shouldn't it? I mean, it's like you've got a big investment on any business that comes in here and buys, and if something's in pre-existence, it should still be acceptable. Is there, because the space issue down the sidewalk, is there anything that says you can put it in as of November 1st and it has to come out in April? You know, just mainly the, the entrance way into the building is what I'm talking about. Yeah, they just use big terms like spring and fall. Okay, okay, but there is something there that, yeah. Wow. No. And you've got paperwork on it. Right. I do have a statement from Tom Frank about his mm -hmm. it, it, it makes our sidewalk not ADA compliant when it is off. Mm -hmm. That's a point. Um, but it would be like that if there was snow there. <laughs> And that's what used to happen. I mean, for the safety of a lot of people that go in and out of there, that thing makes sense. We also have um, some requirements really from our insurance company that need to be met. So we, we contacted insurance on one and not the other? This one came in first, from what I understand. Oh, and... Okay. And what whatever insurance, I mean, we need to talk to insurance about both of them, mm -hmm. which we stated earlier. Okay. So we don't know what the insurance requirements are. Um, it asks the property owner for a certificate of general liability insurance, which provides bodily injury, property damage, the business location, which you probably already have, and the village of Sotus Point as an additional insurer. Either of which are burdensome at all. So, you want a copy of that? Yeah, from the insurance company? Thank you. And we should also, if we're going to approve this, we also should get some kind of written agreement. What kind of written agreement are you saying? For liability? For liability and for when the vestibule goes up and down. And also on snow removal for that section, I see the insurance company's got something on there. Well, we need to update our sidewalk code. That came yeah. when we got this response. Yeah, well, we've been plowing that sidewalk right there in front of theirs. Um, and that was brought to my attention as well. And Brad said he has no problem not doing that anymore because that we shouldn't be putting uh, plows on a brand new sidewalk. Yeah, and it's really the property owner's responsibility. Right, so we need to iron all that out, especially, I mean, if we're going to prove the vestibule, I mean, take the way you live, what if we put a plow through it? Um, you know, I'm indifferent one way or the other. I'm just, you know, reading this insurance letter. You know, let's, we've got a new owner that's a couple months in. Let's get it figured out before we go forward to another season. Can we approve? Can we separate the the uh, benches out and deal with that right now? Or <clears throat> I make a motion that we um, approve the bench that part of it, since we don't know questions on the other. Approve the benches um, as long as the current benches, as long as they can, you know, meet the insurance requirements. Would, uh, wouldn't you add in the weather structure pending dates, agreed upon dates, and you could have it all done? Right. Then once we get the insurance company info or whatever we do, then we could just stamp it. Yeah. 
What would be reasonable dates, Dwayne, or would you prefer? Um, November. Typically start putting, you know, put, the, we put it in when it starts to snow, and then we take it out when it's, you know, we're pretty sure it's not going to snow again. So, I mean, really, I'm sure so no, January to June. Give you a date. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, I mean, it, there is such a... <laughs> Such a thing that says some common sense is in order here. Yeah, it's. Uh, how about if we say when it starts to snow and we take it up when it's finished, <laughs> which would well, be May. Uh, all right, I'm going to take back my. Uh, I'm going to withdraw my motion. At this, at the moment. If we said say November first, to. Too early. It's too early. I think so. You know, you're pretty sure we're in. Global warming. We've hit Don't snow. Don't get me started by that. <laughs> November 15th. It doesn't really, we don't really get much snow before Christmas anymore. But that doesn't mean we won't. What if we said November 1st to April 1st? Unless it snows? It's up to the board. Yeah. I would build I would a vestibule inside the building and not be the sidewalk if, if I owned it, but that's not what's being requested. So it's up to you guys what you want. So we get what well, I mean, what's the ramifications of it not making the sidewalk ADA compliant? Nothing until somebody has it. It's the same, yeah, it's the same have deal. Everywhere. New York City's got it. Yeah, you can't get a wheelchair down through there. You have to go out when they have all those up, and they have tons of them. They have rest. Uh, yeah, and it, so there's there's almost forty eight inches of distance between the front of that vestibule what? and the edge of the curb. What? So it's forty seven point five on one end and forty eight. What's regulation? Sixty. It, it's just a foot short. Sixty. Hmm. Pardon me. Just choose a range within this fall and a range within the spring. I guess we're trying to zero in on again. You're not talking dates, not ranges. December one to April first. No, it's an in date and. Well, so, and an wait, wait, do we do we have the certificate of general liability? No, no, no. For, no. Oh, you could make a contingent upon them. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm just yeah, I'm just reading through Tim's notes. Same insurance company. So yeah, I, yeah, know, yeah, yeah I'm just reading Tim. Yeah. I didn't know about that until just now. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, I got it. Yeah, when we yeah, got here. Five minutes to print. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I mean, you could do the earlier of first snowfall or December 1st until April 1st or whenever. Just a suggestion. I mean, realistically, I mean, uh, to cut that down 12 inches to make it ADA compliant, would that be a big ask? Um, are there any ADA requirements on the vestibule, the volume of the vestibule itself? I, that I do not know. That I, I would imagine. Know. Yes. Yeah, I would think so. Plus your door probably, probably, yeah. yeah, you're probably six and one half times the other. Yeah. And that vestibule is not very big. Yeah, I know. We also have two entrances, so yeah. they can go in and out of the other entrance. There's nothing saying they can't use the wheelchair to the other first. Good point. Anybody want to make a motion? All right, I'll make a mo I'll make a motion that <clears throat> that we approve the current uh, benches and seasonal use benches year-round seasonal use of the vestibule um, at any point from December first through beginning of April, April first, um, assuming that uh, the yeah. The insurance certificates are provided, and I, I, it's a vague thing, you know. What just you know that they're kept in good repair. 
I don't know what that's going to mean. And that the village of Soda's Point is on the insurance. Right. Yes, yeah. that they're listed as, as, as additionally as insured. <coughs> Second. One favor? Aye. 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 All right. So, let's see. funding is uh, funding that comes from New York State. In Tracy's tenure here, it's gone up three hundred dollars. <laughs> this is something that Nikon asks for an increase in every year, as does the town. Um, the lobbying group, which is really what Nikon is for villages. So we have a resolution, whereas the aid and incentives for municipalities, which is what AIM stands for, plays a critical role in funding essential municipal services for cities and villages across the state. Whereas city and village officials share the same priorities as their state leaders, which is to make New York safer and more affordable. And whereas New York's governments who are on the front lines controlling property tax, affordability, ensuring public safety are integral to achieving achieving these goals. Whereas the state has not raised increased aim funding in 15 years, and according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, inflation has increased by nearly 45% during that period. Whereas its neglect from the state has led to rising municipal tax burdens and harmful investment in essential municipal services and staff. Whereas the property tax cap further limits the ability of local governments to properly fund the services their residents need. Whereas the challenges of rising inflation and increasing costs of labor and supplies and the end of extraordinary federal aid only accentuate the need for an increase in aid fund. Whereas the governor's 24-25 budget proposes to keep AIM funding flat, whereas an increase in AIM funding would reduce the local tax burden and help revitalize communities across the United state. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the village of this point urges Governor Hochul to work with the leaders of the Senate and Assembly to increase AIM funding in the 24-25 attack of the state budget. So you're looking for somebody to Approve. Just move the motion, yeah. and we we get a whopping eight thousand three hundred and some dollars from me each year. <laughs> yeah, I'll make that motion. I'll second it. All in favor? Uh, uh, better than the sheriff sticking the ass. Right, and ask Sharon to come up and talk about our. Uh, Comprehensive water system evaluation, please. Now you have the resolution in front of you, I think, mm -hmm. that um, authorizes hiring Barton and LeJudis to do the study, comprehensive water system study. Um, we went through a uh, Procurement process that advertised uh, what's known as a request for qualifications. The New York contract reporter, so it was advertised all over New York State. They also had a requirement to direct mail to um, the package, the proposal package, to minority and women business enterprise firms uh, all over upstate New York. We identified those to the New York State Empire State Development website and we did a direct mailing to them. We followed all the rules that the New York State CDBG Office of Community Renewal requires. We got four proposals in. Uh, actually, they're qualifications packages. And the committee, the review committee, which was comprised of the mayor, Gordon Burbridge, me, and, and Nate DeHaan. Reviewed all of those proposals, those qualifications packages, and we did a separate rating and ranking of them. And then we all came together and uh, compared notes uh, because we did this separately and, uh, and added those numbers together and interviewed the top two firms, which were a firm called C2AE, together with environmental design and research, they're out of Syracuse, and Barton LeJudas, which is uh, out of the Rochester office. 
And then we conducted interviews and um, of those two firms with uh, me and the mayor and Lori and Nate. And both of them interviewed very well, but at the end of the day, it was obvious to the committee who unanimously made, is made, made a recommendation to the village board to adopt uh, a resolution to hire Barton and Judas to do this uh, to do this water uh, comprehensive water system analysis and study. So that's what we did, and it took us a couple of months to do it to follow all the rules and regulations. But we are now at a place where we can start this darn thing. This is a really great opportunity, I feel, for the community. I um, can't tell you enough. C two A E I went away after I met with them, thinking they're fabulous. We're going we're gonna pick them. We need somebody different. And then B and L came in the next day and blew it out of the water. And I and we the mayor was pretty rotten to him too. I'm saying <laughs> <laughs> saying that we were concerned about how long it had taken for the LWRP and that sort of thing. Anyways, to make a long story short. I would like to make a motion, and and when I make this motion, do I read the resolution to get the second? Is that how that's done? Or is I'm it? Read it. It's, um, it's in file. I would like to move that we approve Barton and Lejudis to do this comprehensive water system evaluation, and I really believe that we're going to benefit for years for, from this. But there is one thing I want to tell this community. The Water Authority is not a nonprofit organization. The Water Authority is a for-profit organization. And all the time that we've been buying water, I thought that they were just, we had no choice and, and we don't really, but they have come in and done a lot of things. So we need to educate, educate, educate about the Water Authority and some, every, what I learned at this was every organization, every town, village that subscribes to the Water Authority pays a different price. Somewhere along the way, we need to be asking why we're paying more than anybody else. Just because we're farther away, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, I would like to move with enthusiasm that we take on this project through Barton and with you. And uh, thank you, Sharon. And Nate was magnificent. And Mayor was pretty good too. I don't say that very often. I'll, start, I'll second the motion. The, the grant is for $50,000, and our contribution out of next year's budget is $2,500. We have so many places that don't have pressure. That it, 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 There's so many problems with the water and old water pipes and that sort of thing. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, if I could just add one more thing. I think one of the, one of the things that really put b and over the top, at least with me, and I think with all of us was, they emphasized the importance of transparency and community meetings and, uh, and communication. And uh, the, first, the first group that we interviewed, who I personally thought was really, really good as well, um, they didn't have that emphasis on communication. Uh, BNL right up there with at least four meetings and more. If, if needed at no extra cost. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so there's going to be a lot of communication uh, while this study is being prepared. So thanks, everybody. Thank you, Thank you, Sharon. Thank you. Okay, next on our agenda is a um, forensic bill audit of our utility bills <clears throat> by EG Advanced Energy Solutions. The firm that uh, Mike Garlack brought to us and to many towns and villages in Rotherham County, apparently. And we provide bills for solar, electric, gas, cable, internet, um, and they audit them. They go back to those firms to get us refunds where things have been charged wrong. They keep 40% and we get 60% of what they find. A one time thing. And um, I checked out a couple of the references. One is a local guy, Scott Vandewall, and he said they have found things. They haven't reached the rewards yet, but he believes it's going to be a good thing. So he uh, had recommended them without reservation. 
So with that, I move that we do this audit. Because after last year with the LED lighting and we went through all the stuff for the grants, we couldn't make heads or tails of it. So maybe somebody else can. We've got solar farm bills. We've got uh, LED lights that we're not sure we're supposed to be making. It was supposed to save us money. We have no idea if we do or not. This is a, a great opportunity to find out. I hope. I sure want to know the answer. James Taylor asked me that question when I was first running for the board, and, and I had no idea the answer then. And you know what? It isn't any better yeah, today. Yeah. Uh, is there a second? <clears throat> I'll second it. David, when you yeah. say when it's a one time 40% thing, what do you what is that? Pardon? When, when there's a one time 40% payment to the company that helps us organize our bills, does that mean one time? They review one year and they collect 40% of any savings that are generated from that. From that year. From that year. Next year, yeah, they're out of it. Yeah. And that's led by the Williamson family, is the president. I can't remember his name. Dean is Dean. one of the owners of the firm. I can't remember the other guy's name, but he called me today to make sure we got his proposal. All right, we have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. All right, chapter 141. Really, our task tonight is to, if we are mostly satisfied with what was distributed, that we schedule a public hearing, which should be before the next board meeting. We'll post it on our website tomorrow if we do that, and then the public can comment either in writing. Um, we can request the planning board to schedule a answer thing, and we can schedule that for them if we want. Once the my question is, once the people have it, what happens to it over that thirty days? After the thirty days. After the thirty days, it comes back to us along with all the comments. And we decide to approve it or send it back to the planning board with those comments. So basically, all or, or amend it and approve it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So basically, all we're doing tonight is approving it to go to the people. Correct. So uh, we'll, we'll hold that out. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I'll second it. I see stuff in here that was, was. You'll have 30 days to do it, just like everybody. Yeah, but there's else. stuff in here that we agreed last time as a board that was just not good and then it's the language has changed i agree with you on that and quite frankly we could hold it tonight but if the people are reviewing it uh, at the same time we are i don't see any problem with that that's full well we didn't listen well we we have a motion and a second well we didn't listen the last time we went to public hearing and I'll, we ran this way right down our I'll, I'll withdraw the motion. no way so tell me why <laughs> let's see but what, what, wait a minute, I, got, I don't understand why it's beneficial for us to go through all of this. I think that we are the people, and if we're doing it at the same time as the rest of the people, and we make the decision at the end, we're not making a decision except to let it go to the people. And That's right, there's, and things, that we, there's things that we said no way to last time that are still in here for the exact same language. So why would we put the same document well, forward have again? Have you spoken to the planning board members? No, because I just got this Tuesday. Yeah, and, and I will say, and and according to this book, we can hold it back because it needs to be placed upon the desk of tables of each member of the legislative body at least seven days prior to the past. If we were going to pass it tonight, I would have said no. So we're not passing it. It's not at all up for being passed tonight. We're Simply just getting up. people's input. Yes. We need the input we're, of the public again. The formal then, input of the public. At the end of 30 days, then I say we go through this with a fine tooth comb with all the information of everybody. We call everybody's information that because people are going to comment on this. There's no doubt about it. Because I've got they, yeah. stuff from and they have, and it's not in here. I agree with you. Um, but there's a lot of good stuff that is in here. And why should we do all the work? Let the people do the work. And then we put it together based on what they say to us, what they write. This can be. I agree. 
But the people haven't had a chance to comment on this. They have commented on this for but, over over two years now. And that's you why we have held it, it, but it's not all the people. Actually, it's not public comment time, and I get what you're saying. Exactly. Thank you. I, I, I think it should be out in the public. I think that us holding on to it, for because I really thought about if if we were going to have three votes that were going to come at us and we were going to adopt it, mm. and then they had 30 days to comment and we had already approved it as a board. But if we're not approving it as a board, all we're doing is sending it to the people. I'm cool. If we're not yeah. sending it to the people and we're approving it, let, then let I'm going to follow. Let me go through this again, because we've been through this every time we brought a code before this group. The first time it comes, we put it out for public comment. Only after public comment do we consider it for approval. I agree. That's, well, that's the process. I that's moved, the law. I move that we send it to the people. I second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Anybody opposed? All right. And not everybody's going to be happy with it. There's, nope. there's, nope. You're never going to well, be able to satisfy everybody all of the time. I so. would say at the next meeting... Or that we have a special meeting or something to collect that data. And didn't the planning board say they would do that? Yeah. All right. So the things would be going to uh, have a question So you, the planning board will schedule a open question and answer meeting? This is the village. Well, this passed, right? Yes. 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 So the village, has to, to go to the to people move, to move on. Village. That's yeah. why he's talking about okay. setting up a Wait meeting. A it's well, going to be. I've been burned on motions that listen, didn't listen, get recorded listen, possibly listen. properly. It will be published to the village website tomorrow. Okay. Bruce has already said that okay. the planning board will schedule a public question and answer period for people to come and ask questions of the planning board. And they will take those and they will decide what let to me, do with it. Let me finish. Mm -hmm. Then people can write comments to the planning board and to the village board because we need to see them as well. I'm hopeful that the planning board meeting is scheduled well in advance of our meeting so we can approve this next month, assuming they make some changes. If not, and they need more time, then we'll give them more time. But we need to, we right now need to set a date for a public hearing. Normally, that would be April 18th, but it doesn't have to be. We can do it sooner, we can do it later. We also have the budget public hearing that day, also. Yes. Just, yep. I don't want to do two meetings that are that in depth. This tonight was way over. If you really did the work, I, I had it. So I would like to see us schedule the hearing out farther that gives the people time to do it, gives the planning board time to do what they've got to do. On the same token, I'd like to see it available to use in June because there's some stuff in there that we really need to do. We can schedule it really anytime we want then after. I think we have a special meeting to do it. A, special, a public special mm -hmm. a public, public hearing. hearing. We can schedule a public hearing, hearing anytime any after. So, 25th, want to do it in May? I'll be gone on the 25th. But it's your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> we want to say May 2nd for the public hearing? That, that's fine. I'm not going to For what it's worth, I won't be here for that, but I won't be available May 2nd. But okay. Bruce, does that give you plenty of time? So May 2nd at 7 o'clock. Thank you. And that is for that is 141. the hearing for 141. You better put it in the fire hall. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So as soon as you've got with your board and you have your date, we'll publicize that. I'll get with my board. It's being Thursday. I may not yeah. hear back until Monday. 
Okay. What was my motion and how is that recorded, Tracy? Please. I don't. I just have it that you want to move forward with the under um, oh, one forty one mm -hmm. to go. I would like to have it say clearly. I move that we send it to the people for a, for a public hearing and input and that sort of thing. I, whatever. But I want to make sure. The public that hearing is scheduled for May 2nd. The board does not here. approve anything right now except for moving it forward. We couldn't people. anyway. That's the law. We couldn't <laughs> anyway. No, no, I know, but I I know that's the law, but I sometimes see things a lot differently when it's over. I'm sorry. Okay, we all sat there. <clears throat> okay. The next item is approving a couple of um, pump maintenance contracts. The first one which is 04 MAC, if you're looking at the proposal number. Um, it's for the wastewater pumps. It's is something that we have done for several years mm -hmm. now to help ensure that our wastewater pumps work as they are should. Normally they find a couple things that they then repair and we approve those repairs in the following months. So if I could get a motion to approve this contract for $4,050. So moved. Second. One favor. Second. Aye. Aye. The next one is the stormwater pumps. These are the six new pumps. We have not had them maintained yet, but now that they've been in the ground for a couple of years. This is 05 MAC? Yes, this is 05 MAC. And the contract is worth fourteen hundred and eighty five thousand. Get a motion to approve that. I move. Which I I think I'm lost here. I'll start with yeah, because everything's front and back. What's so, the name? Yeah, what's the name? You know, they come in flea. Yeah, it's still, yeah, from, it's still flea. from flea. So, yes. okay. All right. On the back and on the front. Gotcha. That's a <clears throat> It's the 05 MAC proposal. Okay, got it. No, it just got six points. The front is the same other than the number. Right, gotcha. The middle is different and the back is the same. Okay. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, next we're talking about Lake Road 2. And we're doing it in two parts. First, we're buying the parts. There are two proposals. One from FWF for $3,477.60. And one from Blair Supply Company for $4,407. And 38 cents. Yeah, but that's that's the later field stock. Uh, yeah, they're separate. So I move that we approve the FW Web Company for 3,477. 60 plus. <coughs> yeah, that's the cheapest one. The cheapest part. Is there a second for that? I'll second it. It's a good company. I work for them too. All in so favor? I'm looking at that. That's not the right. Oh, God. Something back. It's the same name. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That was FW Web. Yeah. 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 That's the one I would just. That's what I'm looking for. I mean, it can. But now this is the this okay. is the work for Lake Road Number Two now. And we have two proposals here: Northbrook mm -hmm. Enterprises and Mark Ferretta Excavate. Mark Ferretta is seven thousand one hundred dollars, and Northbrook Enterprises is six thousand dollars. 
The reason we do these separately is we get the parts cheaper when we buy them ourselves. Not only do they not get a markup and we don't pay tax, but they don't pay tax and then pass that on to us. Has Jeff worked with either of you? What, what would his yes. recommendation be? He's worked with both. He's fine with either. He's fine with either? Yep. North is his current favorite. Well, they're less expensive on this. Yes. <laughs> find it yet? The North of one? Yeah. I, here. Uh, I didn't find it. You. This is the Northrop one, but this is for okay. the installation. Yeah, you gotta look at the back of them. Is that the one? There it is. There you go. My yeah. top. <laughs> you got it? Yeah. Okay. It's, it's, it's it's somebody else's fault. That's why I wasn't looking for it there. Well, it should have been a fairly reasonable situation if we're going to go with the most inexpensive and he's worked with both of them. I make a motion we go with Northrop. Yeah, I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. The next FW Web proposal says air pipe on the front. I can see that. It's <laughs> This is replacing the air pipe into the unit that we don't use that looks like a sieve. They have excavated it. They have removed most of the old pipe. This is purchasing the pipe and the guys will install it themselves. We have two quotes, FW Web for $4,312.73, Blair Supply for $4,900.42. Both are the same. He says the air pipe that we don't use, don't currently use. Yes. Why don't we use it? Because we switch down, or we switch back and forth between the tanks, so that both tanks are operational. Because when the flooding occurred, we got caught with our pants down because the second tank did not. Work. This is twenty-one seconds. Yeah. This is out of capital. I make a motion we go with FW Web. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. There's one more. This is replacing the motor and the gearbox on that tank. And there's two faults. One where it, they install it. And one where we install it. I think we would want to go where we install it. To have them install it is $10,005.22. That includes the parts in the labor. For us to buy it. No, oh, I'm sorry. It's to their money. So one is $10,000. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we install. So Granger's parts are ten thousand five dollars and twenty two cents, and suit Seaward Equipment's parts are eleven thousand seven hundred and forty six dollars. And where we go with Granger? I'll second that. And we are. I just have one question. Yep. Do we have experience with both of these companies? Yeah. Okay. We wish and that's the same same quality. As far as we know, yeah. Okay. I've, I've had good luck with Granger. I don't know. We don't, we don't use them a lot. Mm -hmm. um, Usually there's higher yeah, price. We definitely you see where it's more. Okay. So, did anybody second you? I did. Oh, I did. Who made the motion? I did. Thank you. Lori so, seconded it. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Now we're on to the playground end of the evening. Lori, you want to talk through this? Yeah.
Okay. Um, should I read it? Is that the easiest one? Or what do I... Would is you that, is, well, why don't you summarize it? Okay, this is to start the planning and fundraising mainly for Willow Park Playground. Um, the re revitalization of the entire playground um, and specifically for this two year period on the MOU, it would be for the and all abilities, all age, multi-generational playground. Um, it's an agreement where, and we laid out what the village is gonna do, what insurances are gonna be kept by Friends of Willow Park, and that it will cost nothing to the village for us to do this. Um, uh, there will be some in-kind services. There will still be maintenance that needs to be done, such as the cleaning of different things, but there will be a group of people that will assist with a lot of stuff. We're going to supply the funding for it, hopefully with corporate grants, um, and anyone that wants to donate to the playground. Um, here is the brochure. And if you wanna, this is the final. Uh, these are just coming out. We have not done any fundraising until we had everything done. As far as insurances, um, all the things that we needed to do to get ready for it, and the MOU is. This is Fred, my treasurer. Okay. Everybody got one? Um, and it's pretty much lays out what the five year plan will be. But if we don't do what we're supposed to in the first two years, it's renewable at that point. It's been a long time coming. Matt and the mayor and I have worked hard to get this MOU to the point where we have it. And what else would you like me to say, Dave? Well, it's essentially an agreement between the village and Friends of Willow Park to allow them to, to allow Friends of Willow Park to raise money to hopefully fund the replacement, at least the first phase of the playground. There are five phases laid out. This is a two-year agreement, which only gets through phase one. There's an annual renewal that will occur after that. And before phase one can get built, the specific plan needs to come to the village board for the village board's approval. And that same thing will exist for all the future phases. Yeah, well, we've got a lot of layouts and storyboards and everything. Each one, each year, and we've got dates laid out for those years, we will bring it to the board by December 31st of each year. We The board will approve or deny us to go forward. So it, it's a total of five years that we'll be doing this. Actually, it's probably closer to six, right? Yeah. <laughs> and um, that's pretty much it, right? <laughs> I move that we uh, accept this memorandum of understanding as written and uh, allow them to start collecting some money. And we have one question. Yeah. Um, it says the village shall, shall incur no cost because of the construction. What about maintenance and that type of thing? As yeah. we as we go on, it spells it out in okay. here too. Okay. We will be helping to pay for things as it goes. The, we formed a 501c3 so that we could maintain this forever and have it living so that we can collect funds so that if things break, we can at least supply money, maybe clean the playground once a year, do that kind of thing. It will come back to the um, village to maintain it afterwards. We'll probably be checking on it all the time and or someone will be. But the bottom line on it is, I believe this will be a whole lot less maintenance than what we've got there now. And the reason I say that is because 
we're working with Brad and some of the other folks to make sure it's streamlined so that mowers can just mow. Trimming doesn't have to be done as much we're hoping for. Um, that's what our goal is to make sure that things are blown off. It, it, the rubberized mat is pretty resilient from what we've seen. We'll know more as we get closer. You can't buy anything till you have the money. But we've been doing a lot of investigation of playgrounds and Fred Whiteman is more than likely the where we're going to go um, through Playcore. And Playcore is the umbrella company. And uh, they've been a great assistance. Uh, we already, uh, as soon as we get approval for this, we'll start meeting the school sponsors. So, could you amend your motion just to say um, proof of insurance? Yes. All right. I uh, I think that you already have, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I motion. Uh, it's in process. We will have it made. That we yeah. accept this MOU with the understanding the insurance will be updated and provided at the time of first contact or fundraising. Yeah. Matthew, is that like, is that? You said you're in the process of obtaining insurance. Well, we, we have, we're doing the insurance through the we're getting DNO and business insurance. Then the business insurance will stay in and it'll cover all the fundraising parts that we do. So like when we have our first thing is going to be eclipse our goal, <laughs> help us eclipse our goal. And uh, we're going to do that the day of the eclipse from 11 to two and give out classes and stuff like that and have a presentation for the village. Um, there's a mailing that's going to go out as soon as I get through here. Somebody's going to text the printer and say, "Let it go." Um, they should hit every home in every taxpayer in Sodas Point. Um, so do you have like a timeline for when the insurance is supposed to? The insurance is going to be in place by April 8th, and it's through the same insurance company the village has, which is Van uh, Alien Lean. Yep, yeah. and Tim Capon contacted me today. I gave him the direction. He's sending me stuff to sign, and we should have something within the next week. So and we will definitely have it by the 8th. Okay, so you could approve it contingent upon submitting proof of insurance. Uh, that means the village's approval by April 8th or April 15th or whatever you want. So everyone should be able to Yeah, if they're doing the program. Does that mean that we can sign the MOU, though? Yeah, it's Tonight. just that, yeah, it'll okay. just be the yeah, board. The motion is just people. contingent so, upon I, you fulfilling that. I still have questions. Right? Okay. I'm not voting. I'm not okay. <laughs> well, we're all married. If so, somebody seconds that we can uh, ask what, all the questions you want. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> so we have somebody that seconded it? No. 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 Okay. No. We just. Ask yes, away. You, oh, so you have to wait until the second it. No. Oh, well, I can't. Okay. Well, I can't second it. Yeah, you no. got to abstain. If you're on the committee. I'll second it. Okay. Thank you. So the terms uh, here we're talking about the term goes until June first, twenty twenty six. But this is a you know we're through twenty twenty nine or something. I Each guess. year will come. So December twenty twenty five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 20, 31st, 2025, we will bring something to you for the the, the year, the year. You're right, it's confusing, but let me tell you what it is. Okay. Each so fiscal year, new phase each has physical, to be Each forward. phase has to be brought forth for the board to approve. So phase two, you will be approving December 31st, 2025. On phase three, we will be doing it December by December 31st, 2026. If we have to have, we'll have money hopefully that we're showing you and we'll have a plan, but we have to be able to order the stuff if we, and it takes sometimes 12 weeks to 16 weeks in any preparation. All the work will be done between September 15th of each year and June 15th. So what was that? When is the first phase going to get approved by the village? The, the first phase will be bringing to you this December. Yeah, December 24th. 
Yes. And then the 25th, or then we won't be doing anything until September that of 25, unless somebody gives us lots of money in the next week. Uh, but that each one is it's clearly written out. Well, it's it's confusing. Okay, I'm. There's, I'm, no, it, it, there's so much of it. Well, that, I, yeah. I just now you're telling me something else here, and I'm. The only it, thing you were approving really right now is this, and that's to get the playground done. So it's the first page and the back page, and then in two years you'll get to do right. all of these things, and we'll sign another MOU. But for phase these. one, excuse me, I didn't uh, interrupt. <clears throat> no, go ahead. Phase one is playground. It says here enhancement and preliminary infrastructure. Is that what we're that construction date is September 15th is what you have. Right. So, so we'll start, that's what we're approving? We're, we're not approving the construction. Okay. We're, we're, we're approving, approving them to exist and raise money to do that construction on the park. And um, at the end of, in December of this year, assuming they've been <clears> successful <throat> raising money, they would come back to the board with a formal plan or what the playground would look like, what would be installed, the schedule, costs, all that. We're not approving any construction. You're just We're approving us to go forward with a plan. Yeah, relationship. But you're right, Kathy. This, it's, I, I took this Exhibit A to plug in here because I wanted something, and I need to add to, we need to add the approval dates for each of the phases. Which well, we have on this. They're, they're out here. I'll just, I'll they're just, right here. Yeah, I'll just tuck them in here. But so phase one, the approval would be December 24. Phase two, the approval would be December 25. Phase three, the approval would be December 26. Phase four would be December 27. And phase five would be December 28. <clears throat> So we're approving each, the board at the time is approving each phase of construction prior to its start date, all contingent on having money to do it. And as long as I'm on the board or I'll come like Sharon does after I'm off the board, we would be coming to you with reports and working with everybody so you know what's going on. Dave and I have really actually done pretty well with that, haven't we? Okay, so we're not, <clears throat> we're just approving just the the concept of a playground, not right. specific, any specifics at all. Uh, right. Yes. So what happens in this whole thing? I mean, it's just an opportunity to ask a couple questions here. <clears throat> what happens when, you know, you've got all these phases and the fifth one is final cleanup, gardening and renovation, but you know, we don't, you run out of money at, at you have to guess, whatever phase. You have to guess on the money once you're doing it. Yep. Because you don't know. We may end up with a playground that has new slides and wood chips for the next <clears throat> 10 years. I don't know. This is the concept, if you haven't seen it, of just what we're doing this year. Well, this is where our goal is. But we would also be doing the site prep the outside work um, for the paths and that sort of thing, getting benches around that are good. Um, planted the trees. Year, you mean starting in September yes, start, 50 or 25? 20, yes. So it's, it's got a long way to go. And that's the plan that Barton and Lujudis, and we're following that. It, designed for us and their estimates are on the back. We're going to try to beat those prices, of course, and I believe we're going to be able to do it. So this was the original concept before they did any of the fancy stuff. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I'm in the wrong place for those online to see. Oh. <laughs> Would it be okay if I said something? Yeah, go ahead. One of the one of the things about those prices too, um, you know, they they tend to choke you a little bit when you look at them. 
But we asked we asked the consultant to uh, to do it in accordance with prevailing wage rates because we were thinking at the time that there might be some state grants involved and uh, and when that happens, um, the cost of projects tends to go through the ceiling when you have to deal with prevailing wage rates. The beauty of the of the nonprofit relationship is that they're not going to be tied to that now. And so the cost of the playground. So like we should already less. had somebody come forward, and I'm not going to say their name because I don't have anything in writing yet, to prepare the site. <clears throat> and so that will knock off a big chunk of change if they prepare the site. And, and that I'll run by Dave. We'll come up with something. And we'll have to do soil testing and things like that. The business insurance, according to Tim Capon, would cover all of our all of our um, needs until we break ground. The day we break ground, then we've got to go in and it's going to cost us about five grand for the insurance to supplement the village. So the village is not liable for anything we do. So... You bring up a good point. <clears throat> Some of these items here are, you could say, they're a little riskier. You've got a splash park. You've got a, a zip line. line. Is there a zip line? It, it's a zip line with chairs. So um, I don't <clears throat> have, do you have, because Kathy wasn't here, do you have that still online? I believe so, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's on the website. I've looked at the thing on the you website. Look, I no, have. They, I've they, looked at the what video. The yeah. program, uh, what the playground does. Uh, Fred did a, a, a schematic for us. And um, well, this is the thing that I've used. Right. And we're trying to hit. No, no. I'm looking for the one that's a video. Oh, I I've seen the video online. I've seen the video online. On the, oh, on okay. The right. So yeah. I have. So, but as far as the, the the splash pad, I know there's some concern with that. That's why it's off three years, because we're either going to do a study of that or what needs to be replaced. If that's going to be too costly, we won't we won't be doing it. If it's not real costly and they've gotten the dangerous parts that other places have gotten rid of, it may be something we want to do. We may decide to just put a couple of sprayers out yet by the bathrooms. The big thing that I think that should be done is as soon as the park is done or the, the playground is done, we should be working on those ADA bathrooms and that sort of thing. And we may be able to do that simultaneously. Well, so, I, I I agree with you there. I mean, you get a playground, you get more people in. Our bathrooms are, are you know, certainly not a strong point here in the village. And, and they um, can be close, whereas the, the drawings mm -hmm. show them right down right near the the um, parking lot. I mean, that's my concern too, that the, the bathrooms that you're putting the cart before the horse as far as you we know, have having bathrooms. the bathrooms. We have the, bathrooms. Well, I know, I know we do. <laughs> I know we do. <clears throat> if you get them, you're going to get a whole lot more grant, grant money from the state if that's what we decide to do. I mean, the board may decide we need to do an RFQ and Sharon's going to do the grant money for the bathrooms and maybe that'll become a state project. That's why we did it so that it's in levels so that if we need to take advantage of some of those, if we get the money from some organization such as Blue Cross Blue Shield or whatever the new name is or um, who's, who knows, maybe Mops will come up with some money, uh, Snapple. That's where we're going with it. And we can't do any of that without this because I will not take one nickel of money from somebody and we're trying to raise enough money when we send out all these envelopes this week to get chump change because let me tell you, this stuff isn't cheap. I know. So um, I just wanted to, I guess that's pretty much it. I think you're asking good questions, keep them coming. We didn't, I mean, is this going to, are we going to have to increase our insurance when some of these things, I mean, have we yep. looked at that? I mean, let's say it's it's up and running. It's 2026 or let's something Let's say what like you that. got had down there right now is so worn out. We've been in a plywood situation for the last couple of years. 
And which I part of, part of approving each phase for construction will have to be conferring with the insurance company. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. And and so as we go along, and we could certainly do that. Motion Junction, these parks are around. There aren't any parks like this in Wayne County. Our Wayne mm -hmm. County population, this is heck, any one of us could go down one of the slides, including me. Uh, and so it's all ages. If um, I can show you what the, anything that's on here, we're trying to make it that anybody can do. So the, the zip line, it's not one you hang on to, it's the one you sit on and it just kind of slides down. The safest thing you'll ever see. Yeah, it's got the automatic slowdowns on them too. Yeah, they've got everything. And it's not something that where they hang on. There's a stool to sit on. And, and you know what? Maybe you don't like those. We don't have to do that. But we'll get it to a point. Fred will come in and give the board a presentation. And um, you'll know what we're trying to do and at every level. And I think that it'll it'll it'll, it'll certainly become a destination, but it will bring families say it won't bring I, you say well it won't, won't be cost to the village and I don't want to belabor a lot of this but you know I look at these things and I I've worked in my prior uh, work experiences things that involve water um, I just see this this splash pad as a huge liability and and for the village costly in terms of maintenance i agree and, with you, you that, know, that I, when you put that out that may be very well water become an adult fitness center we don't know yet exactly yeah, i i cannot i cannot support the splash pad at all i'll tell you okay, that right now that's fine and let that be 100 percent. that's know, fine that's not going to change yeah well that's fine and i could get into it and i could talk about what happened in the city of geneva and the five million dollar you know, settlement that they had. Luckily, the state owned that thing. Yeah, and we don't. Yeah. We, we don't, don't, don't need, need that, that. Here. and we no, don't I need agree. to hire somebody else to maintain it. it. If, and when you're talking about this uh, uh, zip line, I mean, I see that as something. Oh God, I, I could see I the would kids. Challenge each one of you before we do anything to go over to Motion Junction. It's on Owl House Road in Canadawa, and take a look at it. That isn't done by Fred's group, but it is an amazing piece. It's amazing equipment, um, and it's for everybody. So uh, <clears throat> I'm not against the playground at all. I think our playground is old, and I think that we need to and it make was, improvements. You know, it was state of the art. In it was. Day. It was. I just I I you know I worry too that we're taking up a lot of land here with cement and. You know, part of a park is that green space. Well, and I'm great. I love it that you say, well, you've been talking about how you can, you know, to make the most efficient on the mowing. I think that's great. Yeah. There's a, there's a whole right. lot of things. And how it's going to end up looking, This is these are just broad. Right. So you have okay. something to sell. Like we might be able to sell the tank. That, that tractor thing, you might sell that to one of the growers around. That's about $90,000. But it's got slides. It's got stuff for children to crawl in. It's got things to push a wheelchair up. It, it's grandma can get in to get her kid out of the tube without a hassle. They're amazing facilities. All right, we have a motion okay. in a second. I will update the exhibit <clears throat> so that each phase has a village board approval date, as we discussed. Yeah, they're all there, right? But, it, but phase one isn't there. Yeah. yeah. Phase one is in the actual MOU. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll try to make it cleaner so it reads easily when we look at it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But I think all the information is here. So the MOU is this paper right here for now. And that's the one that outlines the dates. It has all it has those dates in there. Yeah, they're on the box. And then the rest of it is the concept. Mm -hmm. 
Next one. So this is saying that we're um you're right because the, the MOU the MOU is for in, until June first of twenty twenty six. Um, but Exhibit A is incorporated in it, and I, I need to make it explicitly clear that village court approval on the design. Yeah. Um, on, on, on each phase, but for phase one, it's December of, one of this year, 2024, for construction to begin mm -hmm. in September of 2025. So it's completed by June 1st. Of 2026, yeah. We well, have the, but doesn't it say here, it, it just show I mean, in fact, the completion of the playground, the playground won't be the playground completed at that no. point. What we're talking about today is just a playground. We're not talking about splash parks. We're not talking about anything else. Just the, other the playground. Exactly. We will have the layout of things and, and based on what Barton and Ludutis mm -hmm. have told us and what the walkways are and that sort of thing, but we will not have that. And there's other things that you can use besides cement. This, this pathway here is definitely going to be earthy. But we want to have it so it's strong enough for anybody can use it. So if an older person with a cane wants to take a walk through the woods, they can. And if somebody wants to take their dog, they we're going to coexist is what it's called. And it's a, it's, a, it's a great opportunity. I see things like this all over Vermont. And they'll be able to ride bicycles. You might have some skating in different places. But again, you'll get to approve that. Are we ready to vote? Yep. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Very good. Thank you. I'll work with Matt and you tomorrow to get these words in here. And then we'll okay. Up. I'm not here tomorrow. I can sign before I leave. And Fred's here so he could sign. But the only thing we're going to do is put in those dates. Uh, I'll, I'll make the, the board has approved it. So yeah. we'll make Changes and then are you around Monday? Tuesday morning. All right, we'll you can sign on Tuesday morning. I'll be here at 9 30. All right, that's fine. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. It's a, it's a big one, I know it is. Okay, this fair housing officer agreement with Wayne County. What this is about is we appointed several um, months ago, maybe years ago. Kevin is our fair housing officer. We have to have a fair housing officer for community development black grants. We've recently learned that the county is much better equipped to do this than us. And um, getting tabs off of Kevin's plate is one of my priorities. Um, so we have an opportunity to move this responsibility to the county who's better equipped. What this is, is when someone is in trouble with housing, they call a fair housing officer and the fair housing officer gets them connected to house. Kevin does a lot of this in the village of Sotus. He doesn't do much of it here. Um, but this is just asking for approval to move the fair housing officer and appoint Wayne County is to fulfill that responsibility for us. I make a motion to do so. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Last order of new business is the South Municipal Parking Lot. This is the engineering and planning to so get rid of the wet spots and make it actually drain into the drainage system. There are two proposals. One from Martin Lajudis for $34,700. One from Costa Engineering for $38,060. The only real difference in the two proposals is that we will definitely pay Barton Wood Unit $34,700. We will pay passage no more than $38,060, but we could pay them less. They charge by the hour up to the maximum, where Barton and Wood Judas just lays it out for this task. It's a small I move that we approve Barton and Wood Judas. I'll second that. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. All right. Thank you. Let's see.
The total eighty nine thousand five eighty eight twenty six. The general fund is sixty three thousand one fifty six thirty eight. Water fund twelve thousand nine forty five ninety four. And uh, sewer is thirteen thousand four ninety five ninety four. I'm make a motion. We pay the bills. Second. I'll second that. I just want to make a comment. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I, I'll over. make the comment now. It's fine. I'll I just say want aye, but I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, say, chance to I'll make say aye, but um, I want everyone to know that the attorney bill was until January 24th for the eminent domain, and it was approximately $7,500, and it was up almost four hundred dollars an hour. Here it is, one twenty-four. It was nineteen seventy-five hours and seventy-six seventy-five as of today. It's three nineteen twenty twenty-four, which means we'll probably get another bill. So, what does that bring the total to for that? I don't know. We'll have that next month then. We're going to be pretty close to thirty-five thousand dollars if we. There's also um, a number of really good with that. Yeah. There's also um, in here, um, I will ask that you guys let me do an amendment to the, the budget uh, for parks and playgrounds. And it has to do with the grant money. So I just need to, to move. It's it's a wash kind of thing where um, we received additional funding in for revenue we have a, an additional expense on the expense side i just need to do that adjustment so it's twenty seven thousand six hundred, increasing a 3989 for home and community and um, increasing the, the expense of the parks and playgrounds 7140.4 i'll make a motion tracy does that i'll second it all in favor aye, aye. aye. Can, can Tracy, can you provide us with a breakdown of that for the next meeting just so I can see it? I mean, this? Yeah. It's in the packet. It's in the packet? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's in there. I see when it there. We get it, was the, it, it, it was the very last thing in the packet. No, the last thing I had was nice. spare housing. Maybe it's on the other side. When know. we get the packets from now on, when we have this many quotes, especially if we have one or two, you can look through. But this is crazy. I know. And I then the reason I, I didn't. <laughs> yeah. There's so many. I'm, I'm trying to say. She's saving. And she's I, saving yeah, I'm here. glad you're saving the planet. <clears throat> Please uh, save it through recycling. Because. <laughs> I'm telling you, yeah. today. Well, first of all, course, you can lay them side by I side and look at them. Where yeah. I put the rest of my board packet, and all of a sudden realized it was on the other side. Yeah. And, and this is after I spent days reading it, and I thought, oh, I must have said it somewhere. Um. <laughs> anyway, thank you. Yeah. And then, so I'm for the the audit. I I still haven't I haven't reached out to him, but I'll ask him if he wants to zoom in. Or come to the next board meeting. And if he doesn't charge us, I think it's yeah, good when he comes. I don't think he charges us for that. I don't think he does either. They didn't last year. Any other business? Oh, yes. Public hearing for any the, bu the budget. budget. Yep. <laughs> oh. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that, that has to be on May 18th. Yeah. And I have an item of personnel. Or uh, executive session. Okay. So that means it's so it's the 18th. It's 15. Can we do? Yeah. 6.15 on the 18th. Yes, April 18th. April 18th. Um, oh, that's our next just, meeting. Yeah, yeah. just before our budget. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all. I got, I got a dot there. There's a meeting. Something's going on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The other just question is, um, Surplusing the old boat. 
you gonna put it off for a bit, are you? Or are you gonna? We're waiting on. The, yeah. The okay. The yeah. Okay. 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 That's fine. I just didn't want to let it. Electronics. Just not in the Just wanted to let it. Yeah. 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 Because I don't even want like you don't want to do that and then. Oh. Don't even monitor. I understand. Right forward if yeah. It's not ready. Yeah, because they do have a couple of people right now that are interested I in the that. boat, so that. I mean, it has to go through the appropriate trails and that. I understand that. Right, right. Okay, no, that's fine. Close fitting. Yeah. All righty. Okay, any other business before we go into the next session? I think so. All right. Can somebody make a motion to go into executive session? I so moved. Second. Second. In favor? Aye. 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 All right. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Fred. Yeah, you have to be very, very